So here's what we did on our brand new corn head. Guys, this hasn't run in over a year. Stay tuned for this awesome cold start. It's gonna be sweet. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. I'm on the old mic today, uh, in case you guys don't know. The semi ran over my other mic yesterday, or a couple days ago, so I'm on the old system. So hopefully the audio works out for you guys. But I'm gonna grab my coat on, we're about 20 minutes from lunch, it's about noon right now. I'm gonna go over and take a look at the semi, see if I can get that thing started up. First time it'll be started up in a year, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Pat's unfolding the corn head. They're doing a little bit of work to the corn head right now. They, uh, they did some work on it yesterday, they put that calmer kit on, so basically slowed the corn head down and sped back up the gathering chain. So I'll explain that a little bit later once we get running. But I need to go see if that semi is gonna start right now. And here comes our neighbor with a John Deere 8300, I believe, on a grand grain cart. Parker grain cart, I think. Kill. All right, here's the unit. Let's see if she starts. This ain't gonna work. This floor's gotta be moved forward. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can move this trailer forward at least because I cannot get the semi out. This is the thing I'm gonna try though. So I went and kicked a couple tires, checked all the fluids. A couple tires are pretty low. I might have to get the air bomb, but I don't know. Maybe see if we can start it up. Oh, I lied. Because uh, I gotta move that trailer, I'm actually just gonna go grab the 706. Go grab the 706 and just move that trailer. And that way I'll probably, I'm guessing this is grandma for eating lunch. Extremely beneficial to have a two point hitch on a narrow tractor for stuff like this. I made it grunt, but she's up. Now I'll be able to move it very slowly. So I believe that's all I needed. I just needed about 10 feet. So like I said, that type of tractor is extremely handy to have around. Oh yeah, that's plenty of room. Can I even go back two feet? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back up and then let her down. Good enough, now I have room. By the way, this is the floor out of that bin. This bin used to be our wet bin. We got a new wet bin this year because this old one was kinked right there. You can kind of see three new rings. Well, we got three new rings this year for this bin and we have a wet bin and we haven't finished the floor for it. Bin building company's gotta come back, put the floor in and put down spouts of this one and the two other ones. And I'm gonna get another phone call, so let's head out. I love the dri driving and the sounds of old equipment. Put this in the way. Well, the dryer's running. My dad's off at the long farm. He's gonna go build a corral for the last cattle that we need to get in off pasture. And I'm assuming Brian's doing the last load of chores and Pat and my uncle Alan, you guys haven't seen all year, they're starting at the dryer because I know the dryer's running. You can hear corn fleeing against the wall. That's good. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Look at the little baby. Little baby running around. Must be his mama. All right, so the guys that are just finishing up eating, we're gonna get the corn head ready to roll. And then we're gonna roll, dryer's running. It's gonna be a good day. Does that mean I get two wishes? This truck's at 11, 11, 11 miles, so does that mean I get two wishes? 11, 11, baby, make a wish. So here's what we did in our corn head as far as upgrades go. So like I said, Gearing hop is geared up way too fast for what we need it to do. It's snapping, the snapping rolls that I go opposed and snap the corn down, they spin too fast. So what we did is we got a smaller diameter gear to stick on here. So it slows the entire head down. Well, that's great for the stock rolls. So the snapping rolls right here, that's great for those that, that pull the stock down, but that also slows down these gathering chains, which basically gather up the ears of corn moving to the center. We don't want that. So because we slowed those down, we had to get a bigger diameter pulley up front to, for the gathering chain. So we sped up the gathering chain. So all we did was slow down the main gear on the outsides and sped up the gathering chains. It's pretty simple actually, but we're really looking forward to seeing how this head works. But because we sharpened up the knives, put new deck plates on, slowed down the head and sped up the gathering chains, this thing is literally feeding like a brand new corn head. It's amazing. All right, let's get this unit moving. Got my air trucks, got my air bomb. Let's see if we can fill up these two tires. If not, they're off the bead, we'll have to blow them back on. Because they shouldn't be like this. Shouldn't be able to hit them and move them. They should be solid like that. This one over here is what I'm really worried about. Shouldn't be able to do that. 
So let's air it up a little. But first, let's actually see if we can start it first. Here goes nothing. started in a year. Fired right up, didn't even take three cranks. That's awesome. Detroit, you make a great motor. And you cold start really well. So I'm just airing up these tires right now. Look at all this smoke. Woohoo! Gotta love a good cold start. All right, she's warming up for me. I put this battery cover back on, pull over by the shop and see if we can get those things to take air. Woo! Too much cold start, getting a little nauseous. Let's go. Fired right up, moves right away. Beautiful, and we also got new mirrors in this unit. This thing's a Super 10 transmission. I'll be driving it a lot this year. So let's go ahead and go bring this thing over to the shop. Start giving her some TLC. There goes Rhonda. So this truck was a gem of a truck back in the day. This thing, I'll give you a tour of this truck, but it used to be a, like in 20 years ago, I would have driven this truck without even thinking about it. Cause this thing used to have a fridge, a luxury sleeper, everything. Put air in the tires now and then give it a once over, add some oil, add some uh, coolant, call it good. So the truck's moved over. I'm gonna start airing these up. Now I got an actual air compressor. Alan, my uncle right there, he's working on the corner, just doing some finishing touches on uh, kind of the modifications that we did. Brian is finishing feeding cattle and Pat is basically babysitting the dryer, making sure it's going because dryer is going for the first time this year. You guys wanna know how fun checking tires is on a uh, semi? It's not fun. There's 18 tires to check and half the beads are way in there. So it's pretty much impossible. This is the first one I've actually got to sit by itself and take air, but yeah, this is fun. So I gotta check all the tires, add some engine oil, add some coolant, grease the fifth wheel, put a tube of grease on there, Go over, hook onto the trailer, make sure all the lights are working, pull it over here, check the tires in the trailer, and then should be good to go. Maybe oil up the traps too. Steer tires is all I got left, which are easy to do. Bud man just got done setting up the corral up at the long farm, so we're getting those calves hopefully tomorrow or Thursday. Now I gotta trade him out GoPro cards. Just filled it up with coolant right there. Got it in between the min and max. I'm gonna fill, put a little bit of engine oil in, and then head this thing over and go pick up the semi or the trailer. Alan's greasing the corn head right there. Pat and Brian went to go uh, treat a calf down at Pat's place, and this truck's ready to roll, so let's go ahead and get the trailer ready to roll. Ugh. Thing needs a good old bath. Get all the dust off her for sitting for a year. So right there, I greased my fifth wheel, so how a semi turns is you basically, you have it pinned right there, and it slides on this grease plate or this fifth wheel here. And that's how a semi turns, because the tractor will turn, and the trailer will turn way back there, so it's gotta have a pin point where it hooks together. But yeah, so there's the grease. Does anybody else make cool patterns with their, when they're greasing their fifth wheel? I do, because why not? All right, let's fire this girl up. Check your gear, clutch in. Like it's nothing. This thing is being a complete bugger. Is what it's doing. I ripped the mud flap off, so that's awesome. What it's doing is basically, I got this lip that I'm trying to jump up on and it is not working out too well. Cause the cement's uneven and I just gotta give her to get it up there. So the issue that I'm having, got uneven concrete. So we got like a four inch climb we gotta make. Tried to make it with boards, but I still can't get that fifth wheel to go. It will not unstick for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. It's really starting to tick me off. I'm just gonna wait for Pat because what I ended up doing, I push it a foot backwards trying to get this thing on. I I don't know what to say, guys. I'm flabbergasted by this dumb thing. Ah, I give up. Plus I ripped the mud flap off, so that's great. Here come our neighbors in their fancy John Deere equipment. Those guys roll in hard and heavy and they get stuff done, that is for sure. They were just doing that piece right south of our place. Hopefully we'll start running here soon. Hopefully. Well, that was frustrating, but 
got it done with at least. But man, that was frustrating. Alrighty, ladies, gents, and germs. We are about ready to start picking. Pat's taking a semi over. He's going to drop it off. Ron is going to pick him up. Then he's going to hop in the combine and get rolling. My uncle Alan is going to run grain cart. Brian is off sucking liquid cattle poop. My dad is out working. He's a local cop. And I'm going to finish getting that semi ready to go. I'll, I'll go through what I've already done on it so far. All right, you ready? I'm going to hit it at you. Air up all 10 tires, put some oil and cool it in the semi, charge up the battery, hook this trailer up. It was a bear fixed by a mud flap that I ripped off. And last thing I gotta do is I gotta grease and lube up these traps because they're really, really sticky and really hard to pull. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Alrighty, Pat's taking off. We're gonna start combining. I'm gonna go with my cousin, then I'm gonna go start getting this truck ready, to, keep getting this truck ready to go. There he goes. Oh, he's just gonna get back out of the way. All right, let's get the side by side. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the grain cart. You guys are gonna meet my cousin Michael. You haven't seen him in a couple of years. He's gonna run, I'm gonna teach him how to run grain cart. All right, I'm taking the side by side over to him. Shut this door to the shop though, cause it is heated. So try and conserve a little bit of heat. Let's go. There we go. So Pat's gonna cut off this little bit and then we're gonna head down there and do that patch over there. I'm not sure what, Michael's doing. All right, so I'm giving Michael a crash course on how to drive the 8050. Yeah, what's up, guys? This is my cousin. Yeah, you've been you've been on it like two years ago. That's about it. Yeah, but it was a while ago with the side by side and the drone. I think that's exactly right. Yeah. Now go ahead and back up, so you want to be in the center of that. And now we wait until wait until you see corn. So typically, when you're filling the piles up, don't get the pile past the tarp. So get ready to move. Don't want to go back. Yep. Go nope, forward. Forward. Yep and get ready right when it gets about even with the bow all right you're good go ahead and drive drive straight a little more you want to go to this net two tart two two bows down so go ahead keep going keep going and stop go ahead and adjust your spout while i talk okay so when you get unloaded then head this way so go ahead and adjust your white one to your to your center it goes oh it goes Yep, there you go. So now as soon as you see corn, start pushing the blue one forward to start closing the gate. Because that'll, okay, yeah, that'll, that'll the that, corn feeding. That's okay. exactly right. And you might be out of corn by the time you get there. Okay. So. That's what I was gonna ask. It's like, what's the Mayday button? So Mayday button, yeah, just shut it off. See how I, I, how I accidentally or, hit it? Or, yeah. Yep, or so the PTO. I, that's okay. exactly, on this track, you can shut the PTO off. Right. But always try and close the blue first if you can. See how, so if you look through the window, see how you can just, you can you don't have any yeah, corn there? No corn, yeah. Go ahead and open your gate all the way. So that's uh, back all the way then. There you go. He's a pro. He's doing it. He hasn't spilled any corn or anything. He's hired. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. It's only his first one, but hey, that's fine. He's still doing better than the rest of us. So as I was saying, I'm how you drive a grain cart. This is literally his first time ever up, dumping on the go, really running a tractor. Yep. So there's a lot of things to watch. You gotta have your RPMs and your gears match a speed that your combine's going. That's right. You gotta drive in a straight line. Amen. And so yeah, you look, you look how you, he's almost out. As soon as he shuts it off and shakes his auger, then you're good. Okay. Because with the case, it doesn't have a dribble door, so grain's gonna dribble down, so he's gonna shake it to get all the loose grain out of there. All right, this is round two. We'll see how much corn he spills. I got my money on him. I think he's good. <laughs> couple GoPros up on the grain car right now. Pat is just about full with the second pass. We got 24 more rolls left, plus this one, so 36. And we're gonna move over basically across from Michael's house. Well, he did it. He filled his first full cart. He's grabbing gears. He's got a full throttle right now. No corn spill. That's exactly right. He's doing great. I just told him not to hit the stacks on my semi. He might not make it the rest of the night. I might have to kill him. I'm gonna go, we're gonna fill this semi. I'm gonna go start dumping it and bring him another one. Let's go ahead and dump. Hey guys, I'm gonna try recording this on my laptop because 
I think it's kind of much easier. But anyway, I'm going to split this video up into two guys. We just had too much footage. It would have been a 30 minute long video. But comment down below. Would you guys rather have 30 minute long videos just to kind of catch up? Let, let me know. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe on Facebook and Instagram. Heart of Cowboy Farms. See ya. <laughs>